Our kidneys are vital organs that are crucial in removing extraneous fluid and waste from our bloodstream. When they're not operating at their best, a number of health issues may arise. According to the National Institute of Health, chronic kidney disease affects around 10% of the world population, which amounts to roughly 800 million people. After reaching age 50, kidney issues become much more common and the early signs are often missed. Today, we are going over the most crucial early indicators of renal problems so you can get a head start in the fight against kidney disease. Before we get started, if you value your health, please consider subscribing to our channel. Our goal here is to spread knowledge of health and wellness and hitting that like and subscribe button truly helps us out. We post twice a week to keep you up to date on the very latest tips, tricks, and nutrition you need to live a more youthful life, even at old age. The support you provide is free and greatly appreciated. Thank you. Now, let's get to the video. Number 1. Changes in Urine Patterns Changes in urination patterns can be a significant red flag that something is wrong with their kidneys. Urine changes include variations in urine volume, frequency, and color. These may be signs of serious underlying medical conditions. Reduced urine production, or oliguria, is a typical sign of renal issues and can result from dehydration, certain medications, or kidney disease. In more extreme situations, people may even develop anuria, which is a total lack of urine production and is frequently linked to advanced renal diseases. Additionally, dehydration, some medications, or underlying kidney disease may all contribute to concentrated and black urine, which can be a sign that the kidneys are not filtering waste efficiently. Hematuria, or the presence of blood in the urine, can also be a sign of kidney stones, infections, or damage to the kidneys. Another crucial sign that could point to kidney impairment or underlying medical disorders like diabetes or hypertension is proteinuria or the presence of protein in the urine. Please monitor your urine frequency and if abnormalities are occurring, it might be time to seek help from a medical professional. Number 2. Heaviness in the ankles, feet, or hands Emedema, the medical term for swelling in the hands, feet, or ankles, is a typical symptom of renal illness. If the kidneys are not working properly, they may not be able to eliminate adequate amounts of fluid from the body, which can lead to swelling in the hands, feet, ankles, and even the face. People may also realize that their weight has increased, especially if the edema is substantial. It's critical to understand that edema may also be a sign of other underlying illnesses, such as liver disease or heart failure. If you have severe swelling along with other symptoms like shortness of breath, chest pain, or abdominal discomfort, it is advised that you seek medical attention. Kidney disease could be the source of all of this pain and discomfort. Number 3. Difficulty Breathing Dyspnea, or shortness of breath, is a symptom that might indicate a number of underlying medical diseases, including renal issues. The kidneys are essential to the body's ability to maintain fluid equilibrium. Excess fluids and waste are effectively filtered out of the blood and eliminated through urine when they are operating at peak efficiency. However, this vital function may be jeopardized in situations of renal illness or damage, which can result in the buildup of fluid in various bodily areas, including the lungs. As a result, people may feel symptoms including coughing, shortness of breath, and, in extreme situations, chest pain. This fluid buildup can worsen into pulmonary edema, a dangerous condition marked by an abnormal accumulation of fluid in the lungs. Pulmonary edema can turn fatal if treatment is not received, making immediate medical attention and intervention vitally important. For this reason, early detection and prompt treatment of kidney-related problems depend on the recognition of dyspnea as a possible symptom. Watch out for these seemingly common symptoms, and if you haven't noticed a trend yet, always seek professional medical care if you feel you are developing serious conditions. Number 4. Chronic Weakness or Exhaustion Severe weakness or fatigue is a typical sign of kidney problems. As a result of the kidney's subpar function, waste products and toxins can accumulate in the bloodstream, causing fatigue and physical weakness. Hormone changes, abnormalities in vital minerals, and the accumulation of metabolic waste are the causes of this. Studies reveal that people with chronic kidney disease have higher levels of wariness than average. Moreover, the degree of wariness is correlated with the course of renal disease, with more advanced stages of the illness resulting in higher levels of fatigue. Additionally, individuals with kidney illness may have mental exhaustion and difficulty concentrating. 
It's crucial to remember that wariness may also be a sign of other underlying medical disorders, such as thyroid issues or anemia. If you're experiencing chronic fatigue and suspect kidney issues might be at the root of the problem, it might be time to seek professional medical attention. Number 5. Changes in Mental State or Mood Have you ever considered the link between kidney health and mental health? There is a profound and complex connection between renal function and psychological health. Uremia, which is caused by increased levels of urea and creatinine, can have a significant impact on cognitive function. This could show up as depression or even symptoms like sleeplessness, lethargy, and trouble focusing. Abnormalities in vital electrolytes like potassium and sodium, which the kidneys control, further affect mental balance. Additionally, a buildup of chemicals like ammonia, if the kidneys are unable to effectively remove it, can have a negative effect on the brain and alter cognition. The accumulation of waste products in the bloodstream can also lead to a decrease in the brain's oxygen supply, which can cause hypoxia and further impair cognitive function. Not only that, but kidney function also involves controlling vital hormones and enzymes that are essential to maintaining our mental health. A strong kidney equals a strong mind. Number 6. Back Pain Back pain may indicate possible kidney problems, particularly if it is localized in the lower back. The kidneys are essential for eliminating waste and extra fluid from the blood. They are located in the lower back, directly below the ribcage. Back discomfort associated with kidneys can also result from pyelonephritis, an infection of the kidneys. When bacteria enters the urinary system and make their way to the kidneys, they can cause swelling and inflammation, which is known as pyelonephritis. This may result in side or lower back pain, which frequently comes with a fever, chills, and exhaustion. Kidney stones are an additional cause of back pain linked to kidney illness. Solid mineral deposits, known as kidney stones, can form in the kidneys or along the urinary tract. These stones can cause excruciating discomfort in the lower back, sides, and even the groin area as they pass through the urinary tract. Ouch! Please take some precautions if you experience any of these symptoms as dealing with kidney stones can cause the most intense pain you have ever experienced. Number 7. Elevated Blood Pressure Hypertension, the medical term for high blood pressure, can be a sign of possible renal issues. The kidneys are essential for controlling blood pressure in the body. When the kidneys are functioning normally, these organs release hormones that help keep blood pressure levels steady. For example, the kidneys release renin when blood pressure falls, which sets off a chain of events that raises blood pressure. On the other hand, in cases where blood pressure is too high, the kidneys secrete a hormone called atrial natriuretic peptide, which helps lower blood pressure by increasing the excretion of water and salt. Unfortunately, the kidneys may not carry out these regulatory tasks as well in people with kidney disease. This may cause an imbalance in electrolyte and fluid levels, which raises blood pressure. This sets up a potentially harmful cycle since high blood pressure can exacerbate hypertension by causing more damage to the kidneys, which can diminish their ability to function. Knowing this complex relationship between blood pressure and kidney function highlights the vital significance of routinely monitoring and managing both variables for general health and well-being. Be careful out there. Number 8. Loss of Appetite, Vomiting, and Nausea People with severe renal illness frequently have symptoms like nausea and vomiting, which are signs of the kidney's impaired function. Uremia is a disorder that develops when the kidneys are unable to effectively filter waste and poisons from the bloodstream. Nausea and vomiting are two of the upsetting symptoms that can result from uremia. The kidneys are crucial for preserving the body's electrolyte balance because they control vital substances including calcium, potassium, and salt. Electrolyte abnormalities brought on by kidney failure can cause symptoms like nausea and vomiting, among other things. Apart from this, several therapies that are administered to patients with renal disease, such as painkillers and antibiotics, can cause gastrointestinal side effects like nausea and vomiting. These negative effects might make the discomfort that people with renal issues experience worse. Furthermore, people with renal illness may have a decrease in hunger due to an increase in waste product accumulation in the body and a decrease in hormone synthesis that controls appetite. This confluence of circumstances serves to further emphasize the significance of regular kidney health monitoring and treatment, as well as careful prescription selection. Number 9. Dry Skin and Itching 
Dialysis patients with end-stage renal disease frequently experience itching and dry skin as side effects. Studies reveal that a significant fraction, up to 50%, of people with end-stage renal disease endure varied degrees of mild to severe itching. It is believed that the accumulation of uremic toxins in the blood is what causes itching in the context of renal illness. These pollutants have the potential to cause skin irritation and inflammation, which can result in chronic dryness and itching. This discomfort can also be caused by other things, such as changes in calcium and phosphorus levels, dehydration, and some drugs. Number 10. Muscle Cramping People who have kidney illnesses are more likely to get muscle cramps, especially if they are receiving dialysis. Imbalances in electrolytes resulting from impaired renal function may be the cause of these cramps. For muscles to work properly, electrolytes like calcium, magnesium, and potassium are essential. Muscle spasms may result from their levels rising or falling too quickly. Patients with kidney illness, particularly those undergoing dialysis, may have a substantial loss of electrolytes, which increases their risk of cramping in their hands, feet, and legs. Moreover, waste materials building up in the bloodstream can cause muscular exhaustion and cramping. Low blood levels of calcium or magnesium, which are both essential for healthy muscle function, can make this issue worse. To enhance their quality of life, people with kidney disease must recognize and treat these discomforts. As you are now well aware, kidney disease is a serious matter that requires critical care. They are small but immensely important organs, and when they aren't running right, neither are you. If you observe any of these red flags and suspect kidney problems might be the cause, reach out to a medical professional immediately and get the personalized care you need. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and put on notifications so you never miss a video. By viewing and subscribing, you are giving us immense support. It helps our mission to improve the health and wellness of as many people as possible, so thank you for that. See you in the next one, and remember, to stay healthy and stay based.